Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Snowflake. Got Spark? Want to know what you can do in Snowpark? The Snowpark Migration Accelerator can help with this. In just a couple of minutes, you can run a complete assessment. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to get set up with an assessment and how to evaluate the assessment output. In this video, we're going to show you how to run the assessment, which is very quick. We'll do it in less than three minutes and take a quick look at that assessment output. So let's go ahead and jump in. The Snowpark Migration Accelerator is available as a local application to be downloaded from Snowflake. You can see the operating system supported that you can run the application in there. For more information on how to download and install the application, you can visit the SMA, the Snowpark Migration Accelerators, documentation site. When the application is up and running, it'll look something like this. And we'll go ahead and create a new project for this demo. Any assessment or conversion that you do in the SMA be saved as a project. This project is associated with a name and a source code or a source code language. We'll choose Python in this case. This is the local directory where my files are, my code files are. As you can see, there are a series of Python files here, and there's even some scripts in some subfolders, some notebooks in some subfolders. You can specify an output directory if you choose. And the last thing is that each project is associated with a person. So tell us who you are. My name is Brandon and I work at Snowflake. Once I have this project information available, I can run the assessment. The Snowpart Migration Accelerator does not build this assessment just by looking for keywords or for specific libraries in Python code. It is building a complete functional semantic model of the input code base. So everything that the input code base does is represented in a functional model created by the SMA. That model is then queried to get all the report information that we are going to see right now because it's already done. I'll select view reports and see an initial summary and piece of information. This is the readiness score. You may see a series of readiness scores depending on the version of the tool you're using. This is the Spark API readiness score, which indicates how ready my references to the Spark API are for Snowpark. In this case, 94%. And it looks like there's 3,700 identified with nearly 3,500 ready for conversion. Again, you may see different readiness scores based on different facets of assessment that may be relevant for your migration, such as supported third-party libraries, and even additional API readiness scores with potential conversion to Snowpark, such as Pandas. There's more information if you scroll down on additional libraries, what kind of files you had, the conversion issues found, more on conversion issues when we talk about conversion. But the majority of the reporting information is available by selecting View Reports. This is output locally. Again, the SMA is a local application that takes in a local directory. It does not connect to any source data platform. It will not connect to anything other than the folder you tell it to look at on your local machine. This reports folder is also created locally. The detailed report has the most detailed summary information, including more information than can be found uh, in the application that we already saw, but it's more of the same. Summary information about the kind of files, the kind of notebooks you had, how large are they, what type of references to certain APIs, including the Spark API, including the Pandas API. Did you have any SQL calls? Were there any additional references to a, another API? And again, the issues list, which we'll talk more about later. This detailed report is very helpful to walk through when you're attempting to understand your assessment information. I would start there. From there, you can peruse through all of the spreadsheets that are available and created by the tool. These are represented as CSV files, and they contain a wealth of information. For instance, if we go to the Spark Usages Inventory, that'll pull up a spreadsheet that tells me every element, meaning every reference to the Spark API that was present in my code base, tell me exactly what file I can find that element in, what line number that file is in, and whether or not that reference is supported in Snowpark, and whether it can be automated by the tool. The tool automates nearly everything that it can that's supported, but some things are supported that require user input. 
More on that when we talk about conversion. These inventories are not limited to references to a specific API. There is another inventory for pandas. There is another inventory for SQL, SQL statements. There is another inventory for import statements, including third-party libraries, but also local imports or dependent imports, meaning I am going to import function A from file B that is also present in this same code base. Uh, finally, there is a third-party usages inventory, which should give you a list of every element that was found, regardless of the API. Using this information, along with the readiness scores, you can build a roadmap plan to migrate from Spark to Snowpark. And that's our quick overview on assessment with the SMA. Hope you have many happy assessments, and let us know how we can help.